time. And um, the girl waited for me and everything, and she got up on me, and she started kissing my neck and kissing me. And I, I looked at her, and I was like, you know how you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings? And it's like, you don't know exactly how to react to it. You know, because I'm not in the business of hurting nobody's feelings. That's not me. Because I know what it's like when you get your feelings hurt. Trust me. It's just because somebody like you and stuff like they think you're beautiful, whatever case may be, you do not have the right to hurt their feelings. I don't feel like you do. I think it's an, another type of way you can handle it instead of being an asshole, be really mean to them. Because I'm not going to do that. You know. Because I, I look at a lot of dudes that I know damn well don't want my black ass, honey. And honey, uh, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to get one of these men before I leave with this boy. <laughs> No, damn what I'm gonna do is leave out of there just drunk, honey, to say where well, I mission to call, but nobody going home alone. Anyway, so me and this girl sit up there and everything and we started talking and stuff like that and she waited for me and stuff like she was holding my hand and you know when you hold a hand and you go you know, you do the silent. So I didn't know what to do. So anyway, um, come to find out she lives in Jersey, like me. Hmm. And she lives right down the street from me. Hmm. Go figure. Is this a test, Lord? I was saying. Because <laughs> the girl was fine, honey. She would tempt anybody. Woman, man, anybody. If you're breathing, she would tempt you. The girl was that fine. And I'm six feet. And she was like this tall. I knew she was a real woman. I knew she wasn't a, you know. And she um got in the car and I drove her home. I have to admit, I told her, I said, listen, I, I appreciate you liking me. I said, but I like guys and, you know, and this thing went in on me. <laughs> oh, I've never been so many motherfuckers in my whole life and I'm driving you home. <laughs> it went like this. Well, I hope you find a man that fuck you over because these men ain't about shit. The only thing these men want to do is fuck you. You're so damn stupid. You don't even realize what's actually in front of you when you see it. I said, okay. So she says, you know what your fucking problem is? You just, you like the stereotype bitches. Maybe if you sit back and realize somebody sitting in front of you, you would fucking have somebody. You're just stupid. That's what you are. You're stupid. And she folded her hands and she looked up at me. I mean, she started screaming. I was like, I was a little afraid because I thought the bitch was going to slap me. <laughs> so I just can't. I'm saying, okay, as I pressed on the gas a little faster. <laughs> so I was like, this is where you live? She's like, yeah. She said, here, I'm going to give you my number and everything. She said, I got to go to the bathroom, but you better not pull off. So she goes to the bathroom, and she pees outside in front of the bushes. <laughs> and I'm going, so I look back at my roommate, and she kept going, don't you do it. Don't you fuck this girl. Don't do it. Don't. She's a stalker. She's like, don't fuck her. Don't fuck her. Don't fuck her. I was like, well, she keeps asking for it. She's like, but don't, don't fuck it, though. If you fuck this girl, I'm telling you. She was like. I'm telling you, if you fuck her, you remember that that TV show, uh, what they call men's, <laughs> with, um, what's his name, the guy who goes winning, anyway, I forget his name right off the top, but anyway, it's like, um, the three men, the two men, and the little boy, anyway, so anyway, I don't know the name, but anyway, somebody probably hit me for telling me, so anyway, um, remember, or uh, Charlie Sheen, that's the thing, Charlie Sheen did it to this girl, he don't want her, now she's stalking him, so that was my roommate point, she was trying to let me know, do not fuck her, because if you fuck her, she's gonna stalk you, and I had a few drinks, and I was like, you sure, <laughs> I was like, because she's, she wants something, honey, nah, why not, I've been drinking, but then she said, well, you better think about this, bitch, it's called the next day, what you gonna do when you wake up the next day, and this girl wants to be with you, and you know, you're like, man, I was like, hmm, you're right. So anyway, she came back to my car and everything. She, you know, she squatted and pissed on the street. Hey, I don't judge. <laughs> so she came back to my car and everything, and she walked over to my window, and I told her to get in the front seat. <laughs> so she got in the front. So in the meantime, she walked over to my window. She said, here's my number. She said, I want you to call me. And I'm so sick that you think that I'm drunk. I said, well, I think you might have had a little bit must have She says, I had a, I said, ooh, girl, calm down. It's all right. <laughs> and the sad part about it, I was like, damn, maybe that was the person that was meant for me. <laughs> maybe I laid on the table and bled to get this body so I could be with a woman. Go figure. With my luck. Mm -hmm. Anyway, 
you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, because a lot of times, I mean, it's kind of weird, it's kind of weird in a way, because a lot of times you think, you meet a lot of guys and stuff like that, and then they want you to get on top of their back, it's like, well, what was I did all this to come this way, so I can get on top of you, and I, I'm like this, if I want a woman, I get a real, <laughs> and I'm sure you girls have heard that before, like me, and we know what you are, honey, if we want a woman, we get a real one, how about that, anyway, so the thing about it was, I lost her short, I didn't have sex with her, I dropped her off, I called her the next day to see if she was okay, she was fine, she did part two of telling me to go to hell, she's gonna fuck me up when she see me, and not fuck me up, but you know, she was really pissed off with me, and I was like, damn, I gave her a ride home and everything, I, I called her kind of motherfuckers and everything, and <sighs> I mean, I feel this were hurt, but Lord knows the girl was fine. Anyway, so I'm just saying, have you ever thought about being with someone at that source? You know, you strong core cool guys, you met a strong core cool boy. You know, y'all probably do mess around because, you know, y'all got to hide y'all thing. You know, you want anybody to know a lot of times with y'all, y'all got women and babies and stuff at home. And you can't let wifey know. You know, but even with y'all strong core, cool, hardcore cool guys, sometimes y'all slip up. You know, she pops out. And somebody, oh, I caught that bitch. I caught it. <laughs> Put on my good eye, you know, and just like you femmies, but to them boys, you know, hey, you know, y'all, I live for y'all because y'all really don't give a fuck. So, you know, I already love y'all to death. I live for you because the simple fact of the matter is that you live your life to your truth. So, you know, I love you. But anyway, have you ever saw, if my fem boys out there, have you ever saw another fem boy that's both of y'all bottoms and y'all lay in the bed? <laughs> Please, somebody ask me on that one, what y'all would do. <laughs> But you know what, at the end of the day, you know, what of y'all could man up, get on top, serve, and diverse people, you know. it's That's a good thing, I guess. But I always find that a little complicated because it's like, do me. No, tonight you're doing me. No, tonight you're doing me. And y'all both could have been mad because you didn't want to do each other. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. But I'm just wondering, you know, I'll put it out there. Let me know. You know, I'm, I'm a little nosy. Have you ever thought about it? Being with someone who's just like you, like me, being with someone just like me, a transsexual, and, you know, I wake up in the morning, she's beating her face, she's looking beautiful, and, you know, I just know what me is, I, I, I can't do it myself, only because, like I said, it's something about a man, honey, something about a man, I don't give a shit how funky, how fine, how killerish looking, how hard, how ugly, it's a man, honey. I'm like the three ladies by the well. It's a man. <laughs> but anyway, it is what it is. I'm just curious. You do you. You do you the best way you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them. <laughs>